Hey, what's up, everyone? This is me, Dre. Now, in the light of everything that Donald Trump has done to harm his pre presidential candidacy, uh, he's come out with an apology, if you want to call it that. Now, I'm going to play the uh, clip. You're not going to see anything. I'll leave a link in the description. But I just want to kind of give my take after I hear the soundbite from Donald Trump. Perfect person, nor pretended to be someone that I'm not. I've said and done things I regret, and the words released today on this more than a decade old video are one of them. Anyone who knows me knows these words don't reflect who I am. I said it, I was wrong, and I apologize. I've traveled the country talking about change for America, but my travels have also changed me. I've spent time with grieving mothers who've lost their children laid off workers whose jobs have gone to other countries, and people from all walks of life who just want a better future. I have gotten to know the great people of our country, and I've been humbled by the faith they placed in me. I pledge to be a better man tomorrow and will never, ever let you down. Let's be honest, we're living in the real world. This is nothing more than a distraction from the important issues we're facing today. We are losing our jobs, we're less safe than we were eight years ago, and Washington is totally broken. Hillary Clinton and her kind have run our country into the ground. I've said some foolish things, but there's a big difference between the words and actions of other people. Bill Clinton has actually abused women, and Hillary has bullied, attacked, shamed, and intimidated his victims. We will discuss this more in the coming days. See you at the debate on Sunday. All right. So you hear this lame ass apology from Donald Trump. Now, instead of taking ownership by making it all about him, he goes to deflect about Washington and what's happening there. And then he goes on to attack Bill and Hillary Clinton. Now, as I've said in my previous video, I don't sway for either side. I don't vote. I don't trust politicians because they don't give a shit about black people. It's just as simple as that. Uh, Donald Trump, from the moment that he's come out with his candidacy, He's made incendiary comments that have distanced himself from people of common sense. So what you have is a group of Americans who uh, support him simply because they feel he can make America great and don't feel that things that he said have been racist and bigoted. Um, but again, I cannot stand for that and for him to come out to say, black people, what the hell do you have to lose? Um, Self-respect. That's one of the things we have to lose. But again, going back to this attempt at apologizing for the things that he said. Uh, it was very um, disingenuous, simple because he didn't take the ownership. He didn't say, hey, I messed up. Um, I pledged to be a better person, a better candidate. I want to be the type of American that other Americans can look up to. He basically went on to attack or you try to use this as a smear campaign for his opponent on the Democratic side. And uh, that I just... I can't, I can't stand behind this man. He's already fucked up by making his comments about Muslims and Hispanics, Mexicans in particular. And you see the firestorm that has uh, taken life upon itself when you see people attacking um, Mexican-Americans. Um, and again, that's a different video altogether. But Donald Trump, he's full of shit. And for those who think that he can make America great... Um, America is a laughing stock of the world right now. A once proud country where you can look to the, the elections uh, every four years, you, have now have, you now have this circus act that has topped Bonham and Barely Circus. Anyway, if you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Peace.